Hey everyone, Milwaukee just had their Pipeline 2024 event where they showed a bunch of new tools they're releasing in the next year. However, they didn't show you everything they've been working on. So I found a bunch of patents, let's see what they've got. The first one of these is amazing. My jaw hit the floor when I found this patent. It is an M18 line launcher. So this is gonna be for arborists or anyone else who needs to throw a rope somewhere high. It is M18 powered, it looks like it's compressed air or possibly a spring that they're gonna be using to throw this. And it's got a bunch of awesome bells and whistles that they proposed in the patent, like a laser range finder for figuring out how far you need to throw it. And then it will automatically adjust the pressure uh, in the air cylinder to get the line to just that height. In the patent, they've also got a version that looks exactly like their M12 Air Snake, just with a barrel put on the end of it. So they already have the technology to be able to do this. My only question is, are they going to have a grappling hook attachment? So this next one, I know a ton of people have asked for and have been waiting for. It is an M18 snowblower. It looks like this one's going to be a single stage design, but I don't think that's limited in the patent scope. Uh, that's not what they're claiming in the patent. The patent is mainly focused on the de-icing ability they're going to have in the chute so it doesn't clog. So they're going to have a heater line that's run up there, just a resistive heating element that, that melts anything that might clog and stick in the ejection chute. And then they're also going to run forced air from the motor heat generation out over that chute as well. So you use that waste heat for something productive. And it also cools the motor while you're doing it. This patent here is for an updated M18 Sawzall design. And what the patent is all about is a sensor in the shoe of the Sawzall that can detect when it's off contact with your workpiece. Because if the shoe comes off the contact with your workpiece, you end up shaking around a whole bunch uh, while the saw just sticks in the workpiece. So this is going to prevent that and turn off the saw whenever that happens and let you reposition it and then keep working. This next one is going into Lawn and Garden OPE. It's an M18 powered broadcaster. So you'll be able to select speeds, coverage you want, put your media in there, and then you can either run it manually or you can use the, the M18 battery to power a motor and it will broadcast as well. So it's kind of like a walk behind seed broadcaster or fertilizer broadcaster design. This next one I can bet a lot of electricians will be glad about it is an M18 conduit bender. So no longer are you going to have to sit there and do it manually. Uh, this one has a lot of bells and whistles to help you accurately and easily bend conduit. So it's, it's got a settable angle that you can just tell it what angle you want to bend that conduit at. It's got a distance measure that you can slide the conduit through to your next bend so you get them spaced perfectly. And then they've got an option on here that has a projected laser plane so you can figure out if you need a, a bend that's 90 degrees offset from the last one, you can just rotate it, line it up with that laser, and then do your next bend. There's a lot of bells and whistles on this one. It looks like a really great design. This next patent is for an M18 modular concrete tool. So just like Milwaukee has their quick lock system for OPE, it looks like they've kind of considered doing the same thing for concrete. So attachments covered in this patent that will be compatible with the power head are a concrete vibrator, a power screed, and then a walk behind concrete saw for cutting control lines in green concrete. So this next design looks kind of crazy. It's an M18 miter saw that instead of having rails, uh, it will slide on linkages, much like the Bosch glide miter saw. So that's something that I don't know if they're gonna end up doing this. It looks kind of clunky to me, but maybe it's just a concept at this point and on down the road, they're gonna refine it some more. And speaking of saws, this next one is an attachment that is going to convert your M18 track saw into an M18 panel saw. It folds up so you can transport it and store it easily, and then it unfolds and you can hook the track onto it uh, of your just M18 track saw and use it as a panel saw at your work site. Moving on to M12 finds, here is a patent for M12 powered tin snips. Now they have something very similar with pruning shears, so this is just a, a minor design change it looks like to have it do tin snips as well, because Milwaukee's goal with M12 is to replace hand tools with power tools. This is going to save you a lot on forearm fatigue and hand fatigue, not having to squeeze those over and over again of having a powered version with M12. Another M12 patent I found is for an M12 ratchet, 
but this time instead of having the reverse knob on the head, there's actually a switch down on the body of the tool to be able to reverse it, which could really come in handy uh, for the few times that I have backed something off with my M12 tools and then got it stuck against a hard surface when it was in a tight space and I'm st stuck sitting there with a socket on a bolt that's not all the way out and I can't reverse it and push it back in to get the tool out. So that's happened to me a few times and I can see a reverse switch on the tool itself down lower being a lot nicer than the back of the head. This next M12 patent I really could have used as a tool when I was finishing my basement last year. I installed 250 feet of trim and coped every inside corner and this would have saved me so much time. So this is a M12 coping saw and then they've got a couple other ideas they can add to it as well. So it looks like they've just taken a couple different M12 tools and adapted them. They've got a die grinder, a right angle die grinder that looks like it's been adapted as a coping saw with just an extra foot. Um, then they've got a version of the M12 cutoff tool that's doing this and they show another version with the M18 router. So a couple of these are look like they might be standalone tools and other ones look like they're in an entire coping system. And they've got a couple different ways to save time for professionals. You can cope one joint and then copy it with some of these options with a mechanical linkage. In other ways they're proposing to do this is it just takes a scan of the profile of your trim, figures out the coping cuts it needs to make, and then will automatically guide you through that. So let's move on to packout patents I found. This one here is for a packout compatible tower light. So this goes on top of your packout stack. You open up the case. It's got all the components inside. You pull them out, stack them together, and you've got a packout mount for a tower light that's sitting up on top of your stack so you can get a lot of height that way without having to carry around a big tripod. I also found this patent for an expandable packout cart. It looks a lot like the dolly with a handle on it. And the cool thing about this is it expands. So it goes from a single packout stack. And if you need extra room, you can extend it out and stack two packout stacks side by side. All right, moving on to MX Fuel. And this is where things get crazy. So first up is a MX Fuel Charger, which they showed a supercharger at MPS, but this one's a little bit different. It's got multiple options for staging MX Fuel batteries for charging, and it looks like they're focusing on van rack mounting or trailer rack mounting for these. So they're focusing on OPE, which they haven't done before with MX Fuel. It's pretty much concrete tools is what they've focused on with MX Fuel so far. One of the really interesting things is they show these chargers on a zero turn mower, and I thought at first it was an MX Fuel mower, but in this case, it's just a gas-powered mower that they're using the electrical system of to charge MX Fuel batteries. But the very next patent I found was for a robotic mower. Now, it doesn't mention if this is going to be specifically M18 or MX Fuel, but on this one, the idea is you can show up at a job site, put a couple locating stakes in, map out your customer's property really fast and set it mowing while you do all the edging. So it turns a two person operation into a one person operation. And instead of using something like a boundary wire, this one uses a GPS system along with those beacons to let it know exactly where it is. Now something really crazy in here is it shows a couple versions that look like they're an M18 mower, but then in this picture right here, it definitely shows a zero turn robotic mower. So with the previous patent obviously aiming MX Fuel batteries into lawn care, I think they're definitely working on an MX Fuel riding mower. Another MX Fuel OPE product is this MX Fuel hydraulic log splitter. So this one, there's a Ryobi kinetic log splitter that Tektronix has also released. Um, this one looks like it might be the first cordless hydraulic powered log splitter. And as I mentioned earlier, MX Fuel has really targeted concrete applications. And here's another concrete application. They've got an MX Fuel powered cement mixer in this patent that covers an MX Fuel power head for various applications. This last patent is probably the craziest thing I've ever seen from Milwaukee. It is a battery backpack. It could be either MX Fuel or M18 that is designed to, for use with OPE. Now, the crazy thing about it is the patent text definitely mentions a power glove. And what it's going to do is connect that glove via a wire or a cable and have an induction coil in the glove and an induction coil in the handle of your tool so you don't have any battery on the tool and you can just grab your tool while wearing that glove and it automatically powers it wirelessly for the tool. Now this seems a little bit far-fetched to me because those 
outdoor power equipment tools pull a ton of current, and I just don't think you're gonna be able to transfer that much power wirelessly. But what do I know? I'm just a dumb mechanical engineer. Maybe there's some electrical engineers out there that can tell me it's possible. So that's everything I've found as far as patents go. And remember, these are just patents. It's quite possible Milwaukee could shelve all of these and we'll never see them as products, but it is a good indication of where they're spending their engineering time developing new ideas.